What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and welcome back to the series all about designing and coding a responsive landing page from start to finish. In the last episode we took care of that download section and in this episode we're gonna be doing a really quick and simple footer but spending the majority of our time going back through with a fine tooth comb and doing some fixes. You never get something right the first time out and if you think you do, you're probably wrong. We want everything to look really, really perfect from top to bottom Let's get started. We're going to do a lot of responsive work and fixes and changes in the following episode, but this is going to be fine tuning what we've already done so far. Okay, we might as well get started uh, and let's start doing our HTML and we're just going to delete what's there, press save and make sure that our browser refreshes, which it does. So everything is working okay so far. I'm gonna just keep my sketch file over on the right hand side and my uh, text editor on the left so I can kind of, you know, work as I go. So we have our three links inside of there when we save it, there they go, we have three links and it's looking a little bit funky, but you can see there's not gonna be much work here. So first things first, uh, we're just going to create, uh, we're gonna get rid of our download partial and we're gonna create a new partial. We're gonna call this underscore footer dot sass and why am I in this weird view? There we go. I'm gonna go into my source, sass, and layout and just save the footer there because this is a reusable kind of footer area. Great, the site refreshed. Everything's looking okay bueno. All right, so uh, let's just look and see what we need to do right away. Obviously, we can just come in here and find the idea of footer. I really cannot spell tonight. And we're gonna just do text align to the center and see if that, ah, again, you gotta make sure you come into your main and come into layout. I always forget this. I mean, from the start of the series to the end and for the rest of my life, always, always, I will forget that. Okay, so we've added it to the main SAS file and now we can see we've told everything to be, you know, text align center. So everything is aligned to the center, which is really, really nice. The next thing we need to do is just give this thing a little bit of padding. So let's do padding um, and we're gonna go top and bottom. It's, I mean, remember, you can write the long version of this, like padding top, padding left, padding right, the whole thing. You can write padding and then you can put the initial shorthand, which would be to write each of those um, values for padding. And it starts with top, it goes right, bottom, and left. You just kind of remember a Nintendo kind of like controller, like top, right, bottom, left. So you can do it that way. Or if you put in two values, like what I'm gonna do right now, which is 60 pixels, that means top and bottom, and I can put zero, that means left and right. You're just kind of shorthanding it even more. You could shorthand it even more and just put padding 60 pixels, and that means all of them. So get used to writing the different shorthands for them. It saves a lot of time as you go. Things are looking pretty much exactly like we want them to, obviously. Now we just want to uh, just kind of do a few other things. And now let's dig in and do some fixes to the site. I'm just gonna kind of close this up and I feel like the footer is probably pretty legit so we won't have to mess with that too much. But what kind of inconsistencies do we see in the site? I'm not talking about responsive stuff, just as is on the desktop. What is wrong so far? Well, right off the bat in my top nav, there's no sort of hover states on the main navigation. That kind of bugs me because everything else, if you see down here, links have some sort of hover state. Buttons have some sort of hover state. So this button should have that same hover state kind of thing. And then these links need to have their own type of hover state. So we need to fix that. Um, next up, that looks pretty okay bueno. I think that's pretty much it. So let's go back and just do those fixes really, really quickly. Now, there's probably two places we wanna look at. We wanna look at nav.sass, which has nothing in it. I don't understand that. Uh, modules, pages, 
Why does nav.sass not have anything in there? Okay, let's just open up the console and see where those styles are being housed. That's why it's really, really good if I open up my gulp file and you see right here, I am actually using something called source maps. So you can download, install source maps. Um, and I'm basically just adding it. If you read the documentation for gulp source maps, I'm just piping it in at the beginning of my SAS command. Um, so I can tell exactly which SAS partial things are having an issue with, right? Instead of it just telling me the problem is with the main CSS, it's telling me that the problem is with the individual partial. It's mapping all of the information and it's holding it in this development environment so we can see exactly what we need to address, okay? So it's saying that my, uh, my styles there are coming from, here, let's just close this up, that my styles are coming from my home and my links and my base. So those are probably the ones I want to look at. So let's look at page home really, really quickly. We have the header styles in there. Okay. And then we have main nav in there, which we probably should not have. We should probably rip main nav out of there. Okay. Like that. And we should probably put this inside of nav. Now let's just make sure the nav is being pulled in here. It absolutely is. So we should be able to save that and save that and see no change in the site because we basically just refactored the code over to a different partial. Okay, so now we don't need page home dot sass. We need nav, we don't need main. We might need to go look at our basics and open up links, okay? So we have links there. I'm just gonna drag links down below and I'm gonna, uh, oh wow. What I meant to do is drag links down below, not my nav, okay? All right, so far so good. And then we have HTML. So let's just go back up really quickly and let's look at our, I'm just gonna break down all the rest of it and we're gonna look at, here's our navigation. So let's open that up, okay, there's our SVG logo that we put in there. Okay, and we see that this has a class of download, but it doesn't have, which I believe we put on these other things here, it doesn't have a class of button. So if we just open up buttons, where's, there we go, buttons, you can see class of button has this hover state that comes with it, and that's where these two different uh, buttons over here are getting that style because we're getting, we, we've given it the class of button. So what happens if we give this also, when you put a space in between things, it's giving it multiple classes. Okay. So I'm going to give it the class of button and I'm going to save, I'm going to close my dev tools really quick and come up here and you can see now it's, it's received that class of button. That's pretty good. Okay, so far so good. Now we want to come into the nav and we want to see that Okay, so A here, and there's no sort of hover state that's associated with these links. So we're gonna choose, we're gonna say A, and we're gonna give it a different hover state, okay? Looks pretty good to me, okay? Um, and that addresses some of the main fixes. So that is it. We've done the footer. We've made a few fixes to the site. And now I think we're ready to move on to the next video where we do some responsive fixes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really had a lot of fun making this one. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I make lots of videos about design and development and creative stuff just like this series. So maybe stick around. If you have any questions about anything I did in the video, make sure to leave them down in the comments. I hope you guys are having an amazing week making amazing stuff, designing amazing stuff, and coding things to perfection. I'll see you in the next one.